everyone! Something new and exciting that happened to me this week is booking a trip to Massachusetts. So I'll be going there next Wednesday. That'll be really fun. And today I'm going to talk to you about the swallowtailed kite. It's a big bird, a raptor, that's found throughout the Florida marshes and swamps. And during the winter, it uh, migrates down to South America, so Brazil, Peru. And on its physical description, has like really sharply contrasting colors, so a bright white head and underbelly and the wing linings are white and the back, the wings and the tail are a deep charcoal color. Um, it's very lighter in weight compared to other raptors. Um, while it's about like 19 to 25 inches long, which is like the length of a red-shouldered hawk, it's only half of the weight of a red-shouldered hawk at between like less than a pound to 1.3 pounds. Um, they have very slim bodies and their wings are sharp and narrow and they have a very distinct forked tail. Um, they have very small hooked bills that are adapted into tearing into their prey. Uh, their geographic range the swamps and marshes of Florida, um, they go to South America in the winter, and they arrive back here in Feb February um, for the breeding se season that lasts until September. Um, their ecological role, they provide like pest control and reduce the presence of invasive species. For instance, the brown anole is an invasive species. They're like the um, the little brown lizards you see all around campus, they're actually not supposed to be here, so the kites eat them during breeding season and feed them to their young, so that keeps down on their population. And also, they eat a lot of insects, beetles, um, not insects we don't like around as much, so if they weren't around, they'd be more of a nuisance to us. Um, when, also, when they're building their nests, they transfer their sp uh, Spanish moss and lichen, um, which can like regrow anywhere if they're like replanted on a tree. So that increases the biodiversity of the forest, and it helps native species flourish. Um, their role in role in the food web. Um, as I said before, they eat a lot of insects like dragonflies, beetles, wasps, uh, cicadas, and grasshoppers. During breeding, breeding season, it's a bit different. They'll sometimes consume frogs, lizards, and snakes and feed them to their young. Um, basically, the male will go out and hunt and then bring the prey back to the female that tears it up for the young. Um, they have very few predators. They're up there on the food chain. Um, mostly limited to larger raptors like the great horned owl and maybe some tree snakes that might eat the eggs um reproductive strategy they're monog monogamous <laughs> can't pronounce that um and they might even keep the same partner each year they're not that committed but a little bit um, they nest near other kites, which form kind of neighborhoods, but they also maintain like distinct territories. Um, they guard them by like flying around circles in the nest, or flying circles around the nest. Um, the males and females build the nest out of Spanish moss, sticks, lichen, and they nest among the tallest trees and close to a body of water so they can like see their prey from below and just don't have to go far from the nest to just catch it. They also um, catch their prey midair mostly. They'll or like pluck them off of branches midair and then eat on the fly. Um, they will hatch a clutch of one to three eggs, and the chicks will stay in the nest for like thirty-five to forty-two days until they're all grown up and ready to go out. Um, a couple more fun facts. Uh, they're also decreasing in population, like a lot of um, species due to human development. <clears throat> They're not endangered, but they have the potential to be uh, because they now occupy like 5% of their original territory. Um, they used to be in like between 16 to 21 states. Now they're mostly found in Florida and then South America. Um, 
normally they would need like a hundred thousand acres um, for like a healthy um, population of swallow-tailed kites to thrive, but now they kind of struggle to survive on a fraction of that. Um, in addition, uh, climate change has caused the freshwater and marshes to kind of shift um, further inland as the ones for, uh, closer to the coast kind of shift to salt water, which is kind of weird. Um, so the kites mostly like stay in the freshwater like areas, so they're like pushed inland even more. Um, also, this is their call. And unique facts about them, more fact, uh, you could, you know, if like, if you see a bird in the air that looks like a raptor, but you're, it's too far away to, to tell, um, you might know it's a swallow-tailed kite because they never like flap their wings, hardly ever, and whenever they need to change direction, they just tilt their tail, and because it's like, the way it's forked, they can, it just changes the direction for them. That's how, kind of how they pick up um, prey on the fly too. And that's pretty much it. Thank you.